Aloha tribe, this is Adrian Valera with Disclosure Fest Foundation. Thank you for joining us on these six weeks of weekly global live streams. Um, it's been quite a journey, quite an amazing journey. Um, and I really want to thank you for tuning in on these. Um, I actually wanted to come on first today, which I haven't really been on any of these six weeks, to talk about an important announcement about Disclosure Fest and the Mass Meditation Initiative Festival that we do every summer solstice here in Los Angeles. Since this all started in the pond, going down on this, in this planet, and I think that was uh, January, really, when it really started, I was, I was hearing so much news. And I felt tuning in, wow, what an important time one of the most important times for us to get together in mass meditation, to connect our hearts. And I felt really compelled and empowered to, to do whatever it takes to hold this mass meditation. And there's been so many festivals um, that have been trying so hard also, and a lot of them have moved to 2021. Um, and you know, it's some of these festivals are very difficult to do, and, and I agree. Um, I really wanted to do this this year, and it was really important for me to figure out a way to do that. So we had our event um, scheduled for June twentieth this year, six twenty twenty twenty, and State Parks was saying uh, it's still okay, but I was feeling honestly that maybe the community wouldn't feel comfortable or confident. So the, the park where we hold this has been booked up for a couple of years, so no dates are available. And all of a sudden, 8-8 uh, eight eight opened up, Lionsgate portal, and I was feeling, wow, this is, this is the one. Um, and again, it wasn't too far away from June. And really tuning into it, I'm like, oh, I hope an another day opens up and that we could actually do this further out. And a couple of days ago, as all the alignments started happening, lo and behold, another date opened up and State Parks offers us um, October 10th, 10, 10, 2020. Interesting numbers. So we tuned in with the team and we're like, wow, five months from now can be really different. And I took that date and October 10th, 2020, we're gonna hold our mass meditation initiative in Los Angeles State Historic Park. And I'm calling out to the community to really feel into it, hold that vision so that we can all come together and connect our radiant hearts and join in mass meditation and see and do this deep work together. See the change together. See the reality of what we want for this planet together. The power of manifestation is so instant the second we start thinking of anything with this amazing high frequency vibration that this planet is is holding and we're holding the second we think of anything we are manifesting it and just really think about that what are what are we consuming in our minds with thoughts what are we holding in our hearts. What are our intentions at this moment? October 10th, 2020. Let's come together with that whole heart frequency. Join in mass meditation. There'll be four stages, 16 workshop spaces, an amazing art walk, children's area, uh, so much, 32 acres of a park filled, activated, so we can come together and have fun, play, connect our hearts, and visualize change together.
I'll see you all on October 10th at the Mass Meditation Initiative, in Los Angeles. Um, enjoy the rest of this stream. There's a beautiful meditation that I downloaded about actually seeing that same change, this journey to a new earth, and just releasing a lot of what's not serving us and bringing in what we feel is serving us. So, um, Jimmy and Michelle, are you there? And you guys can take it from here. Welcome, everyone. How is everybody doing? This today is our final uh, live stream, uh, we're following up with uh, six weeks of just amazingness uh, here with a Disclosure Fest. I'm your host, Jimmy Church, here with our <coughs> co host. I just coughed. <coughs> <laughs> Let's do a retake. Let's do it over. Okay. I think we should do a retake. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's do this over. Okay, here we go. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome. Uh, this is our final live stream uh, following up six weeks of amazingness here with a Disclosure Fest. I'm your host, Jimmy Church, here with my co-host, Michelle Anderson. Michelle, how are you doing? I'm doing excellent. How are you, Jimmy? Just an incredible six-week run we've had here. Uh, so much fun. And the guests, uh, we've had everything from, from movie directors and researchers and physicists, uh, yoga, dancing, meditation, uh, musicians, artists, paint classes, right? It's just been absolutely amazing, hasn't it? It has been. It's definitely been uplifting and inspiring to see people's creativity and how we can bring it all together to support our friends and our family and the world. Now, I, I would like to take a moment here as we wrap this up and start to head into the rest of the summer to thank all of our sponsors, uh, GT's Kombucha, Khalifa Farms, Biomats, and the, the and follow your heart, follow your heart, and and the feed your souls initiative. We'll get to all of that in just a second, but it's the sponsors, it's the volunteers, and and your donations that that keep Disclosure Fest moving forward. And I, I just can't uh, thank everybody enough for their participation to put together an event uh, each year, a single day event that has 20,000 people attending, um, all with a vibration is incredible, but none of that can happen without you. And I want everybody to visit disclosurefest.org. All of the initiatives are there and ways to donate and to help out. And of course, uh, with your time too as well, is right there at disclosurefest.org. Um, Michelle, I wanna talk a little bit uh, about meditation and it's something that not only we do here but the mass meditation initiative uh, at disclosure fest has become this this big event and i often say and i and i mean this i remember saying this on stage at disclosure fest last year that when a mass meditation happens when you get all of those brains connected all of that consciousness on the same everything is is focused right mm -hmm. that that's going on here and we know that globally things are affected when a mass meditation goes down but i know that there is somebody we're doing it here in new york or here on this live stream mm -hmm. and uh or we're doing it here in la and there is somebody walking down the street in new york too busy too busy to say hello to people uh, too busy to be nice, too busy, you know, and is walking down the street and suddenly, right? <laughs> what was that at the moment that we're doing our meditation? Mm -hmm. And they change a little bit. Wow. I think I'm going to say hello to somebody today, right? <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what happens with the mass meditation, isn't it? it? That's the power of people joining together with a powerful intention to create real change on the planet and to step into being creator beings rather than being passive we're actually taking our role and stepping into this co-creative power and i know when adrian talked to me about this particular mass meditation 
he said this meditation is a journey to the to a new earth we're co-creating a new earth by releasing things on this planet that aren't serving our highest good and getting us all to really put our feeling and our emotion into visualizing what we want to see in our lives as creators working together for the greatest good for all and i'm really excited that he and gabriel logan braun doing the sound part of the meditation have gotten together to bring this forward so anyone who's watching this you're participating in co-creating this new earth we want to be a part of and what what is exciting about about, uh, about this it's something that for me i, I make fun of but it's actually very serious. There are those out there that don't have the time or the interest, uh, the, the ability to focus and understand something like a meditation or a mass meditation, what that's about. Those that do understand, this message isn't for them. It's those that don't, because this mass meditation affects them. That's who we need to get to, and, and that's, that's what it's about. It's a mass meditation going out beyond our community to affect global change, and eventually everybody's going to come around. They're going uh, to feel the vibe, and when we are going through something like we are today on this planet, there's no question about it. Uh, there is a lot of emotion flying around. Uh, there isn't a country on this planet that's not affected. There isn't a man, woman, or child that is not affected right now, but there is also a paradigm shift that is going on globally. It's happening. It and is. Yes, yeah. And we've been, we've been talking about this for years, pushing this forward, pushing this forward. Finally, it, it, it took something dramatic and crazy to wake everybody up. So uh, the, the population can look around and go, you know, Maybe we've been doing this the wrong way. There, there are things happening right now that should have been going on. The air being cleaner, people being nicer, right? The, 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 the disappearing of borders between countries. You know, the, the bad news. We have a lot of bad news out there right now, but the other bad news that used to be there, it's like, those people have gone home. They've decided to change their ways. And I'm really enjoying this. And so as we move forward, I think that we know now that we can live differently because we are. We were forced into living differently from something out of our control, but it enables everybody, doesn't it, Michelle, to look, look around and go, okay, we can actually do this uh, moving forward. Solution. Yes. Uh, and I and I love joining with the people who are jumping on board and actually using critical thinking to try to chart a new course and really step into being co-creators. On Awakening Code Radio, our last show was called Charting a New Course, and we talked a lot about that so that we're, we're not staying stuck on things that we don't want to see, but actually coming together to really put our feeling and our thoughts and our efforts into going into a new area that's bringing so much hope to the whole world and we're doing it and jimmy i have enjoyed co-hosting with you this entire six weeks thank you for being so amazing at what you do and for being a pivotal point and person in the creation of disclosure fest from the very beginning i really appreciate all that you all the effort you've put in all these weeks with your busy schedule and it's been great it's been a great ride yeah it has been and the list of people uh is is long to thank and i know that we've done that in the past i'm, I'm going to say something very cavalier they know who they are but this is a big organization. And, and for me, uh, of course, I have Rita. Rita is here to <laughs> keep things moving forward and, uh, and to motivate me every single day. But it's, it's you and it's, and it's Adrian and, and Ryan and, of course, Neil, uh, uh, this uh, Nilu to Nilu, I'm sorry, to, <laughs> to, to put 
uh, some sense of organization into all of this because and it takes you, a lot of work. Closure Fest is a small organization, but it takes a lot of people who come into the family with donations and time. Well, and, and when we look at the different initiatives, and I, I mention them often, but this doesn't happen by itself. Uh, the Feed Our Souls initiative, uh, where uh, going down uh, to Skid Row every week and feeding the the homeless and the needy and people that that just don't know where their next meal is coming from, and to to get that recognition that people out there care. This is important, and we need your help with all of that. Go to disclosurefest.org. All the initiatives are there. The Clean Air Initiative which uh, really caught my attention four years ago, three years ago with Adrian, when you can talk about this all, all the time. You can talk and talk and talk. When you show up and you see hundreds of trees in pots being loaded onto trucks and moved out throughout Los Angeles to be planted and cared for, in the future by Disclosure Fest is important. And this, this doesn't happen by itself. It happens with volunteers and it happens with your donations. The Every Elder Initiative, tremendous. And, and right now, uh, there is a, a slight shift in focus on our elders. It should have been there all along. It, it's, it's, it's funny Very to me. It's absolutely funny, but Disclosure Fest right there with the uh, elderly care initiative. And one of our favorites, Michelle, you love the beach. You mm -hmm. love your dolphins, right? Mm -hmm. It's about cleaning those beaches. Beach not, not, yeah, right? right? It, does yeah. anything bum you out more than walking down a beach and seeing somebody throw something carelessly onto the beach or something wash up? Somebody's, you know, and, and most people just blow it off. Not at Disclosure Fest. And uh, cleaning up 20,000 20, pounds of trash off the beaches, this is, this is what Disclosure Fest does. And everybody just needs to go and visit DisclosureFest.org and, and help volunteer. If, if Look, if your wallet's light, I get that. How about volunteering some of your time? That's, that's just as important as anything else that you can do with Disclosure Fest. And all you have to do is go and get involved at DisclosureFest.org. Yep, and people are. People are showing that as we've gone through this process, we realize we're all interconnected and interrelated. And it fills my heart with joy to know that more and more people are asking, what do I have that I can contribute? Because we're all pieces of the puzzle. And it's really exciting that more and more people are realizing that as we as we go through this process together. Well, are you ready to bring Adrian and Gabriel on? And we're, we also want to set it up as well that we're after Adrian Valera, the founder of Disclosure Fest, does the mass meditation with Gabriel Logan Braun. We're going to go straight into the second portion of this live stream with the Sonic Davis Trio, which is Avatara, Linda Arnold, and Caroline Campbell. So they're going to take it from there. And, and this, is, this is probably what is most important, Michelle, is I get it. We're all busy. We're all busy. We have our families and, and jobs and, and things and homes. We, we have stuff to do each day. All the names that you just mentioned here are the exact same. Everybody's got a busy schedule. It, I, I, at the top of my list is Disclosure Fest. At the top of making room for what this organization does. And to have uh, not only Adrian here with the Mass Meditation, but to have artists and singers and 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 dancers and and videographers the things that are uh not only important to this community but they're fun to watch on a live stream this is really really cool stuff but these are people donating their time in the middle of their busy lives 
for you in this community. And I think it's great. Uh, so are we going to go straight into it now? Are you guys ready? We are. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Adrian Valera. Who else is coming up, Michelle? Gabriel Logan Braun. And then the second half, like I said before, it's the Sonic Davis trio with Avatara, Linda Arnold, and Caroline Campbell. Now, for everybody here, I think I just interrupted Michelle. In the comments below, let me know what you think about Adrienne's shirt. <laughs> You're so Michelle, thank you so much. This has been an amazing, amazing six weeks with you. Uh, all the best. And... Let's do this again as soon as we can. All right. I'm sure. I'm sure we're gonna get called on again. Okay. I look forward to it. Thank you, Jimmy. Give my love to Rita. Bye, everybody. Okay. Let's all close our eyes, feel into our breath, feel our sitting bones connected to our great mother, firmly, strong, feel that support, feeling that love from our great mother. and start taking a deep, deep breath, bringing the Earth's energy in from our root chakra, filling our body, our light body, our aura. And as we exhale, let's bring down that energy out from the bottom, releasing any fears, doubts, any regrets, any energies that are not being of service. Breathe in, bring that Earth's energy in from our root, filling our body, our aura, and our light body, all the way to the top, feeling that connection. Exhale again as we bring that energy all the way back down, allowing our Great Mother to filter and clear and assist us as we shift our attention to the sun in the sky as we breathe a deep breath bringing a beautiful column of golden light down from the sun into our crown chakra past our third eye our throats, our heart chakra, our solar plexus, sacral, root, and have this golden column come out from our tailbone into the ground, burrowing deep like a root, like from a tree, so deep. It penetrates the earth's core. And as we take another breath, this time from the core of our great mother, from her pulsating heart, breathing that energy from her heart all the way up this beautiful root back into our body, our light body, and our aura, feeling this beautiful, strong, supported connection with our Great Mother. Feel into that.
as we open now our third eyes and notice that we're now on this beautiful ridge overlooking an ocean and a forest on another side feeling the wind and hearing the birds let's open our arms and start breathing that wind into our body and ask this wind and be grateful and thankful for this wind as we ask to clear any emotions or energies not being of service as we allow this wind to come through and clear as in as you notice these speckles of energies coming off your body every time we breathe in the wind and every breath we see less and less coming off as the wind just clears that away. So thankful, so calm, so refreshing, so clean. As we thank the wind for helping us through this clearing we raise our hands and our arms out to the sun. And as we take a deep breath, we bring that sun now into our bodies, charging with that great central sun. Every breath feeling brighter as it takes away any dark places within our bodies, our light bodies and our aura, filling every area within us with this beautiful light, the fire of the sun cleansing with every breath. As we look now to our left and start walking this beautiful path, winding down into a small little canyon where we find a beautiful lagoon and a glorious waterfall. Let's now walk into that waterfall. Let's walk over to that waterfall and let's get right under these waters from our great mother. And let's now clear and purge and cleanse with water. As we stand under this waterfall with every deep breath, allowing this water to come in from our crowns and travel all through our bodies, up and down our arms, spiraling through your spinal column, activating any Akashic records, up and down your legs, and see this water leaving your feet as you exhale with a little bit of maybe murky or muddy as this water clears any energies, emotions, thoughts, not being of service. And we just let this energy in, this beautiful water energy pass through as every breath and every exhale, the water's clear until it's crystal clear. Let's feel into this new energy, this new feeling of being completely clear and grounded, cleansed with the elements, 
bringing in now the four corners. So much gratitude. Again, if we could lightly open our third eyes, seeing this beautiful lagoon in front of this waterfall, let's start taking some steps into the middle of this lagoon. As we get to the middle and we feel this water around our body cool and brisk, let's dive into this water and find this canal as we flow through this beautiful canal of an angelic, beautiful, Cord, this wormhole as we flow through the walls of this wormhole is so translucent and alive. We're feeling like we're back in a womb just swimming through this portal. As we journey in and come up to a surface, to a new earth. As we look around this beautiful planet, surrounded by forests, hearing this wind in our ears, feeling this new energy, hearing the sounds of the birds and the animals, maybe they sound a little different still so peaceful and loving. As we step out of this water, and we start looking at ourselves, our arms, our legs, our bodies. What do we look like? do we feel like? Take this moment now to really tune into what you look like and the, what you feel like. feel my heart leading me through life. It always has before, but now it's a total heart experience. Every thought, every intention, Everything feels like I can only lead with my heart. I'm feeling the most balanced. With my mind, my body, and my spirit. I 
feel this symbiotic connection to the planet and everyone on it so pure filled with love compassion gratitude what a beautiful experience as we start now walking around this new earth and noticing it is pure nature seeing these trees and paths and now I'm seeing some structures as I walk towards one of these beautiful structures, they're like a dome, but they don't seem built. This doesn't seem like a structure that I had to harvest something from the earth to build. These structures seem grown like from a seed. I can get to live in one of these. I am gonna be living in one of these. These structures are computers connected to the universe. Alive. Symbiotic. As I keep walking through this new world, running into different beings of all kinds, so many people looking like me, like human, and other entities all living together in harmony, in peace, in total love. And as we keep walking, we're seeing areas where people are in mass meditation with the intention to send this love through the universe as a daily practice with all communities all over this planet. Again, just led with their hearts. Every day sending that beautiful love across the universe to all planets, to all life. As we continue to walk and see these beautiful farms, all built sustainable farming, not taking away anything from the earth, always replenishing and using what's needed. Technologies seem to be all open sourced, no secrets, everyone knowing about all the different technology. I'm seeing people speaking normally like I'm accustomed to, and so many speaking telepathy and really tuning in to their bodies and their minds as so many of us are still shifting to this new 
paradigm, this new earth. It's always learning. It's why there's no beginning or end to us. It's an infinite space of learning. What else do you see? Take a moment now and just see what you would like to be present for your new earth. Breathe into your hearts. As we are breathing into our hearts with our mind's eyes gaze at the central sun burning as the central sun powers every planet, every source of life, being, animal, plant, trees, planets. as we see the central sun and our heart centers unifying as one. Let's now start connecting every heart in the universe, seeing this with every inhale as we bring the central sun deep into our hearts, lighting up this pathway to every other heart in the universe until we see this one radiant heart this beautiful photon consisting of the whole universe this one heart that vision of that complete connection to all that is.
we now start journeying back into our bodies, breathing again still in your heart. Becoming aware of your surroundings again. Feeling your body as you move around your feet and your hands and your shoulders. As we slowly come back Breathing so deeply in our hearts. Thank you for taking this amazing journey with us. This beautiful journey to a new earth. As you are in your homes and you bring this meditation practice into your lives, change it around. How does it feel for you? How do you want it to look? Remembering that creator within yourself, the power to manifest whatever you see. There's a new earth. And it all starts from the heart. Thank you. That's awesome. So beautiful. Thank you so much, Gabriel. Thanks for joining us on this journey to New Earth. Gabriel, thanks for everything. That sounded so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. How was that for you? Thank you. It was um, really deep. Really deep uh, and powerful and profound on many levels. And I just felt like whatever was moving through us, we just synced up and rode this wave of mm. uh, energy and sound together so. yes. and, you know we there was no practice with this so this it flowed so well i was so grateful for you to take the time to come and join this live stream and um you know bring your heart i've always seen you and you know i'm blessed to have you in you know my life and in in the family within disclosure fast so i'm really grateful for you um, this is going to be again our last live stream um, in this series. We'll be picking them up again. Um, but thank you so much for joining us, and uh, you know, tune in to disclosurefest.org for any new changes or any dates or any new updates on the festival. Aho.
Hello, hello, beautiful world. Thank you so much, Michelle, for that introduction. We are the Sonic Devas Trio today. I'm Linda Arnold. We have Caroline Campbell on the harp. Ava Tara Levine is here with her beautiful array of sacred sound instruments. And we're excited to play for you today. So first, we'd love to share with you um, an eight-minute video recap of our last performance at St. John's Cathedral. This was um, back in September. Um, we called it Under the Full Moon. And as some of you know, our March concert had to be canceled because of our new COVID-19 reality. And but we feel it's very important to share with you the magic that our entire ensemble, which sometimes consists of up to 14 women, how that feels, how that translates, and how we bring in the divine feminine. So enjoy that.
thank you so much for being with us and wanting to give a shout out to all the Sonic Devas out there that are not, not with us today in this space, but we are all connected um, as a tribe, bringing sacred sound to the masses and getting into this space of deep listening, which is a really important aspect of what we do. And also giving lots of love to Adrian and all the Disclosure Fest team for all their initiatives and everything they're doing for the community. It's very powerful. We're so honored to be a part of it. Ah, all right, let's begin. We're gonna do an ah sound all together. Just bring the attention inward. However you may be listening to this and experiencing this. Taking a nice deep inhale to ah. to begin with the Algonquin water song. You can find this on singthewatersong.com. Such a beautiful Native American song, giving reverence to the water. And we're gonna sing it four times to the four directions. And then feel free to drop in with us as we move into our sacred sound space. Nibi wabo and Ayan Aki Mesqui Nibi wabo Hey, 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 Aki misqui nibi wabo hey ya hey ya hey ya hey hey ya hey ya hey ya ho nibi wabo and ayen Aki misqui nibi wabo Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, ho. Nibi wabo and ayen, aki misqui. Nibi wabo, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya ho.
Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu.
Deep inhale, the release. Thank you, thank you for being here with us today and dropping in with us. Thank you, Disclosure Fest. Sending all the blessings out into the world. You can find us, sonicdevas.com, S-O-N-I-C-D-E-V-A-S. And we hope to see you live, real thing, <laughs> sometime soon, not just virtually. And um, thank you, Caroline. Thank you, Ava. Kind of feels like a festival right now because the sun is like right on me here. And so, it's got some Bhakti Fest vibes happening. Brings, it takes us back, right? Blessings, thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Sonic Davis. I was transported during that. That sound healing is so much needed during these times. And it brought me into such a place of serenity, harmony, and peace. And I thank you for that. What a way to close out six weeks of Disclosure Fest Foundation's global live streams with, with just your amazing grace. Um, I would love to know a little bit about what inspired, what was your inspiration for this? Avatara, Caroline, Linda, do you want to share a little bit about your inspiration for how this came about, how you started working together to bring us this beauty? So this really was born out of um, Bhakti and Shakti Fest. So I found myself in a position where I was, I had a solo set. Um, and uh, I, I had invited my friend Al to come play with me for one of my sets. And, and then uh, I had a, my friend Sarah, she happened to be there and, and, and she had, she said, her gongs were already up on stage. And I was like, why don't she just come up and play gongs, right? So it was turned into this thing where it was just a few of us, but then it kind of dawned on me because I, I love ensemble work and I love this like feeling of playing together and especially this project being all women. Or after that moment, the next fest, I don't know if it was Bhakti Fest or the Shakti, whatever order that was, I was like, let's do this. And so the first one um, actually didn't happen because they had a whole thing that, that, that um, it was raining and then the main stage got moved inside and then we got bumped off the schedule. So the first one didn't happen, didn't get discouraged. Then the next year, we made it happen, Yoga Hall won. And uh, I think there were about 10 of us up on stage and I um, designed the whole flow and I said, you know what, this has got to work. Let's just try this. And it was like the most transcendent moment for me in terms of like uh, a sacred sound artist, a, you know, a music director, um, in terms of creating this angelic sound and, and having us play as one. Like, there's really nothing like it. And, you know, I do plenty of stuff solo and collaborations, but as this has evolved into the cathedral and in, into a bigger ensemble with guests and beautiful women who come in to share their gifts, it's like a platform um, just to share all these women's individual gifts and then go play together, right? So it's not about the individual becomes about the beautiful vibrations of each woman and what they bring. Um, that's how I, I can say I can't go through this or through Bhakti and Shakti Fest and that Caroline uh, and through my friend Elle and just over the past three years each woman ha I have a special relationship and reverence for you know with, with what they what they offer and that's why it's just a beautiful platform to share and um, we just blew us out. We just blew us out. <laughs> Do you guys have anything to say about Sonic Davis? I, I'm super grateful to be working with Linda um, and all of the ladies. And when she told me she wanted to take me to the cathedral, that's what really woke me up. 
Um, beyond just getting these amazing and talented families together that I learned so much from, being able to reset the frequencies of these massive old churches and places of worship has been really close to my heart and special. So, yeah, thank you, Mary. Mary. <laughs> Well, I will tell you, I will tell you that what it, what feels so in alignment for me right now is seeing the beauty of this masculine feminine dance of us, as far as many women coming together to share sisterhood together and to bring forward this really nurturing feminine presence while feeling like we're we're balancing that masculine essence within us by doing these activations and collaborations. And one of the things that I've really noticed through this whole six weeks is that many of our artists and performers are doing what I like to call conscious collaboration without competition, coming together for the greater good of all humanity and harmonizing our gifts with each other. And that's really what you're embodying and bringing through. And we appreciate you so much to, to be able to close us out in this way, in this sacred way. It felt very sacred. I'm still goose bumping. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. I just so appreciate you. How do we find you? Thank you, Michelle. So our website is sonicdevas.com. So S-O-N-I-C-D-E-V-A-S. And um, you know our you know our March concert, of course, was canceled two days before um, because of COVID. And um, uh, we hope to do that at some point because it was probably the best concert design yet. Um, so I really hope we get to do it. But uh, the next time we will come together is hopefully at Disclosure Fest, whenever that can um, materialize. And, and we yeah. are visualizing together through yeah. this whole process, this whole process of our meditating together and really visualizing what we want to see rather than what we're being handed or you know what the course of this is that we're all walking together and shining our light together making a brighter world by holding that intention and disclosure fest is going to happen i feel it in my bones we all need it we all need to put aside the fear and join together and do this harmonizing dance that you just brought us in. Did we hear from each one of you? I we heard from you, Linda. Did we? We heard from Caroline. Caroline, did you want to say anything? Uh, my, um, just thank you so much for having me. And uh, yeah, we we played together at the last Boston Festival. I, it wasn't even planned. We just kind of came together as a trio and. Uh, it's just just really magic a little offshoot of trauma flavors um yeah but um yeah just playing with these two is is really special so thank you for having me and I hope you enjoy it. you're a grand trine is what you are you are a grand she trine awesome and she does integrative heart therapy so she works in the real world right with real patients people that need healing getting a psychology degree yes. And she's a mother of two. I mean, this is what we're talking about, you know? Like, we're, we're bringing it. You are. For the world. Yeah. Good. I got Adrian Panza. That's what I wanted to see today. Bringing it everywhere. <laughs> to everyone. Avatara, you are, you are my heart sister as well. And it's so nice to finally meet you, Linda and Caroline. And again, thank you so much. Thank you to Adrian Valera, our, the founder of Disclosure Fest, who has put these global weekly live streams together, and Gabriel Logan Braun, woohoo, my dolphin brother. Um, I've known him for many years, and spectacular what you all brought through today. I'm, I'm just so grateful. We would like to thank we would like to thank all of our family at Disclosure Fest. Milu has worked tirelessly, and Shun and Col Colleen and Adrian, 
all of our all of our team at Disclosure Fest, thank you. Thank you to Neil Gore from Portal to Ascension for giving us the platform and being there for us to put these events on. Our sponsors have really shown up for us and we thank Follow Your Heart, GT's Kombucha, Calafia Farms, Biomats.com. Thank you for trusting and saying yes to supporting all of Disclosure Fest six initiatives. We are so appreciative for the Feed Our Souls initiative, the Clean Air initiative, the Every Elder initiative, the Beach and River Cleanup initiative, the Starseed initiative, and the Mass Meditation initiative, which you got a taste of today. And we ask you, our viewers, if you have it to share, please visit us at disclosurefest.org. Consider making a donation to help one of our initiatives because we serve our community. That's what every single person here's heart is all about. And we invite you to consider that if you can. Our hearts are with you. Our prayers are with you. And we look forward to seeing you at Disclosure Fest Mass Meditation at Los Angeles State Historic Park. Stay tuned and visit DisclosureFest.org for more details and information. May peace prevail on earth. I'm Michelle Anderson from Awakening Code Radio, and I thank you. Bless you to all of you who shared this with us today. Just blessings to each one of you. Thank you.